everyone and welcome to your next episode of Cooking with Nicole. Got a great quick and easy snack for you. Fried pickles. Who doesn't love fried pickles, right? And we're coming into the summer season with uh, all of the fair and the fair foods. Well, maybe not this year with COVID, but hopefully we're still going to have some opportunity for some fried pickles and it's going to be in our own homes. How about that? So what we're going to do um, what I have for you is my little mini dash waffle irons. These guys are so handy. Let me tell you guys, you can pick them up at um, your local stores. I got happened to get mine at Target. They're four inch little mini waffle irons for the bargain price of about $9. And I've used them so much since I purchased them. They're a lot of fun. You can make all kinds of things with them. So I have my, my dash waffle irons. I have two eggs in my glass measuring cup. I'm using a glass measuring cup because I want it to be simple and easy to mix and then pour onto the irons. I have approximately two to three tablespoons of chopped pickle available in the, um, in the bowl here, and a fourth to a half a cup of shredded Colby Jack cheese, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and then some Frank's Red Hot sauce um, that you can add to your taste. And so we're just gonna add it all into the measuring cup, whip it up. We're gonna sprinkle on a little cheese, pour on our egg mixture, a, more, a little more cheese, and boom, we've got fried pickles. So here we go, we got it started. It's always fun to kind of make your eggs mix better by poking them each. It makes them whip up a little easier. So I am going to kind of start by just whipping the eggs here themselves with my whisk. You can see then they um, opened up and quickly uh, became liquid. And we're gonna add to it then our pickles. This recipe is gonna make approximately uh, two of the uh, chocolates. And then we're going to add in our, about a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder or ad lib. You know, if you like your stuff a little more flavorful, please feel free to ad lib. And then the Frank's Red Hot to your taste as well. And we're just gonna add a couple of little Flips in there. I like my stuff a little more spicy and we're just going to mix it together. And boom, that's all it took. Wow, you can really smell the cayenne coming out of that Frank's Red Hot. My waffle irons have already been preheating and the thing that I love about the um, Dash waffle irons is that they have these little blue lights in the center. And so when the light goes off, you know your waffle iron is ready. So we're gonna start by opening it up, it's nice and hot, and we're gonna add a, add a sprinkle of the shredded Colby cheese down on the bottom. And this is what's going to make our base for us. And then we're gonna pour a little bit of the pickle mixture onto our waffle iron, approximately about a fourth of a cup until the waffle iron is, is covered. You don't wanna to get too wild or crazy with it because it could overflow on you. And then we're just going to add another little sprinkle of cheese on the top. And we're gonna cover it and let it cook. Now it's gonna take approximately four to seven minutes to cook the dill pickle chocolate. It depends on your level of doneness that you desire. If you want it a little more crispier on the top, you would definitely let it go longer. If you want it a little more softer in texture, then pull it out sooner. Um, but somewhere in that four to seven minutes. When you open up the lid, it shouldn't stick to the top lid um, and it should be a nice golden texture. This is a simple, simple recipe for something for that savory treat or that savory appetizer. Maybe you got a friend over and you're having a little bit of a get together and you want something quick and easy. Here you go. Um, this recipe is so minimal in carbs. I haven't quite figured out the nutrition facts information for you yet, but I would only estimate that it's going to be around 120 calories and virtually no carbs. Um, the egg, of course, has no carbs. The cheese has no carbs. The seasonings have no carbs. And the only thing that would be a matter to think about would be the dill pickle, which for the amount that we put into this recipe, minimal carbs. So well under 
a gram, maybe two grams at the most. Um, quick, easy, simple. This is your sweet deal for the afternoon. We'll have a picture ready for you. It's looking pretty amazing if I say so myself. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.